the new Linux and we like to keep tech out of landfills and our love Titanfall, sci-fi, or tough questions, this is the channel for you. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're running any hangups or have any feedback, leave me a comment. With that said, let's get into Titanfall 2. First we need to install Steam. You can get Steam from your app store or you can sudo apt install steam. You can also get the Debian package and install it that way. You can web search your preferred method um, for any particular distribution you have. I'm going to be using Ubuntu 22.04. So there's a few settings we need to adjust here and we're going to need those for later. You want to set Steam to Steam Beta. Uh, if you hit uh, Change, you can switch over to the Beta, and then you'll need to restart. If you hit OK. You may also want to add the Share Preconfiguration. Check off both of those options. It'll save you a little bit of time in the long run. And then also on Steam Play, um, you'll want to check that, and you can lock. Steam to uh, a particular version of Proton. I'm going to be using a Proton 7.55 and a 7-55 uh, 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 GE Proton for Glory Segroll. Wonderful work that he does. And I'll show you how to get that a little bit later. If you don't already have Titanfall, you'll want to go ahead and buy it. It's only a couple of dollars to steal right now, so go ahead and get it downloaded. A few hackers um, a while back basically took down PlayStation 2's multiplayer server, so there's another um, community built add on that uh, we'll be needing, which is the North Star client. So, in your preferred web browser, web search you can search that North Star client and that'll take you right there. I'll also add links in the description for an easier method to get there if you don't prefer to search it yourself. Um, I prefer the manual download um, but just what works for me. So you'll need to extract the zip file And we're going to copy that zip file over to our Steam Titanfall 2 folder. And I'll show you how to get to the Steam Titanfall 2 folder. We'll copy over the Northstar.exe um, and then we're going to rename it. I already have it done, but I'll show you how that works. So. If you right click on Titanfall 2, you can select the install files and go to browse. That'll open up the folder that contains all of those. Then we're going to paste that Northstar exe into this folder. The original Titanfall 2. Uh, exe we're going to rename that to anything just so that we have it there as a placeholder then we're going to paste it on North Star exe and then we're going to rename that to titanfall 2.exe and that is case sensitive of course So now we're going to need Proton Up. That's going to allow us to get GE Proton. If you already have Flatpak installed, you can install the Flatpak or you can install the, uh, the app image. I'm just going to install the app image because there's something else that I want to show you with that. So when we're going to run an app image at least on Ubuntu 22.04 we do need libfuse
and again I'll leave some of those commands in the description as well so you can just copy and paste those at your leisure. Libfuse is what's going to allow us to make this an executable. After we get that installed there's one other step. We're going to right click on Proton Up, go to Properties, Permissions, and then we want to make sure that that box is checked down at the bottom. Now we go and open it up. So from here we can add a version. The latest version does work. The GE Proton 7-55. Now after we install this, we are going to need to restart Steam so that this shows up in there. Make sure you check your um, status bar up at the top just to make sure that Steam is all the way closed. Now we'll go ahead and open it up again. From your library, you'll right click on Titanfall. Now we'll go to Properties. Under compatibility, we'll change that to GE uh, to the GE Proton 7-55. Also, you might want to add in your launch options um, game mode run space um, percent command percent. Just puts it into game mode and the game runs a little bit better. If you don't already have a um, EA account you will actually have to set that up if it's your first time setting up an EA account. Like if you've never played Apex Legends or anything, um, you'll wanna, you will have to set that up for this to actually launch. But after you get that, it's just an automatic launcher. You get a separate dialog box that lets you know that it is launching from the North Star client. The regular Titanfall 2 executable doesn't have an additional dialog box that shows up. After you hit play, this is how everything should look. You'll see a different, um, uh, different menu screen than the regular Titanfall. Wait just a second. Yes, you notice this looks a little bit different um, if you're used to the uh, that, the orange logo. We'll jump into a match, I'll show you a little bit. Um, the server's going to look a little bit different, um, which is fine. Um, because some uh, some hackers that really affected the servers, this community-based client is the best way to be able to get into a, a server right away. It looks a little bit stuttery because I've got a million things running that really tax my GPU. Uh, if I did not have OBS Studio running, this would be a lot smoother. Right, there you go, it runs. Pretty active surgery, so you can get on the match anytime, not a problem. Unlike the PlayStation Network that is plagued with hackers that shut down the server limiting the PlayStation 2 network to only private matches.
basically all there is to it. Hope you liked the video. If you're interested in seeing some other Linux topics, feel free to check out my channel page and look through any of the other topics you might be uh, interested in seeing.